Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dusty, if you guys are new to the channel. So, right now, I am currently in a hotel bathroom. I thought the quality looked pretty insane. My camera's just recording the nice mirror, some pretty good brightness, some pretty good exposure. I got the nice fit on, black pants, a black sweater with the Tokyo Drift design, and it has a blue and purple skyline on it. It looks dope. So I am not a liar, you guys saw by the title. I am gonna be surprising my international girlfriend by flying to her country. She knows I am going to her country country but she doesn't know i'm coming a week early and today is march 31st so it's kind of like a little april fool's prank in a way and april 2nd at five in the morning i asked her out and it's gonna be our two-year anniversary i asked her out at five in the morning she said yes though that's what matters that's why he's the goat she asked me why i turned off my location and i said that i dropped my phone and it broke and she believes me i don't want her to see that i'm flying all the way across the world or that will ruin the whole surprise why the fuck you lying and by the way her family's in on it when i get to her country it'll be 4 p.m her brother's gonna pick me up i actually lied to her and told her that i was gonna go to my grandma's for easter Stop fucking lying. and my dad actually asked me to go to my grandma's and i actually went to my grandma's she has no idea i'm coming to her country early and my grandma's house has terrible internet so that's how i'm gonna tell her why i'm not really texting her and calling her that's a pretty good valid excuse because i won't really be able to text or call her or contact her because i'm flying over the fucking ocean so that's a pretty good excuse i flew to cambodia one time so i'm more confident this time and it's gonna be so fun i'm gonna surprise her and then she's probably gonna shit her pants and if you are new to the channel consider clicking that subscribe button because when i go to cambodia the videos are going to be insane and also take a one week vacation to bangkok i'm pretty excited i'm gonna pack and get on the road so let's hit the road jack hit the road jack don't you come back So the bag limit is actually 50 pounds. My bag weighed 51 pounds and she actually let me slide. I got my ticket. I guess my suitcase weighed 51 and they just give one extra pound. I'm supposed to have it under 50. So I made it through TSA and now I'm going to my gate. I'm not as nervous as last time. Now I have experience. My gate is G14 by the way. Hey Antonio has the dusty. Oh my god bro. Oh hell hey, no man. man. What the fuck man? Get your ass on. Hey, what? Bro, I'm in Minneapolis. You sound like Chase's mom. Hey, does the weird ass right there. All right, bro, I'm gonna walk to my gate. San Francisco, baby. So I'm currently just chilling, watching some TikTok at the airport. Now I'm boarding to San Francisco. seriousness what the hell is my hair bruh so now i'm waiting for my bag and i just got the bag okay so i just landed in san francisco and now i'm going to china airlines now i'm waiting on the thomas the choo choo train train to the other terminal and now i'm going down the escalator so i'm finally at the china airlines check-in and i have to check my bag so after i checked my bag i got the boarding pass and that's a big w so i'm at passport control and they have to check the passport and this is the camera going through tsa see i wanted to see that but i didn't get to before i go to my gate i'm actually gonna go to the bathroom and then get something to eat mm -mm -mm. some nice pepperoni pizza with some coca-cola it's happening in the name of me and that's dustin now i'm waiting for the food because i'm a fat ass here's Nikki Nikki Nick on the phone with me because she said i honestly feel so bad bro i'm not even tripping i swear to god this pizza is immaculate bro i swear i put that on my mama this shit's so good it's better than like a big old cock 
Now I'm currently texting mommy and daddy to let them know and inform them that I am safe in the San Francisco airport. Okay, so I'm having some pizza and I got some Coke and I went to this one little restaurant because I'm really starving and I got through China Airlines. They took out my Xbox. That's okay. I just put it in the trash, guys. $300 console. It's all good. I'm gonna consume some pizza. They asked me if I wanted a knife or a fork. Maybe I should have got one because they didn't cut it the best and this shit Hot. I'm gonna eat them. Mm. By the way, I paid twenty dollars for this. I just finished my meal. And that shit was really good. Now I'm going down this fucking escalator. And I had to take a poopy doopy, and that shit smelled so bad in the bathroom. So while defecating, I was viewing some funny information on Facebook. So I commented, "Fuck Eleven, man. I just honestly want to see a Mike and Will makeout sesh. Don't we all?" What the fuck? Here's my fat ass purchasing some snacky wackies so I can eat them in Taiwan when I'm really hungry. The funny thing about this little video, Nika was sad, but I really think she was taking a big stinky smelly shit. She probably doesn't want me to say that. <laughs> So I'm in this huge line, almost the size of my cock. Cheese! I made it through and the international planes are so big. Your boy Big Dick Ricky wasn't even capping. Look at the size of this big aircraft. They even let you borrow a pillow and a blanket. That's so sick. I'm just currently laughing my ass off because if we went 200 miles towards the ground into the ocean, they think this shit will save us. No, guys, don't be silly. We are all going to ascend yes guys the whole entire way there i had to sit by two asian grandmas i love asians don't get me wrong so the lights are starting to turn off and that's really good because i love sleep and i really need it because i've been staying up for a very long time so this is what it looks like going from san francisco california all the way to phnom penh cambodia why is the headphone jack in the arm of the chair i'm really bored so i'm just looking around for anything to do well this is something to do. I'm gonna consume all of this delicious food. Here's me being a fat little piggy. <laughs> all done, all done. Ate that shit super fast, but I got some coke left. So later in the night, I was getting a little hungry and wanted a midnight snack. So I opened up my DX and had a piece of it. Snoop Dogg's Smoke favorite time to the destination. You already know, smoking the blunt, smoking it all up. So my fat ass woke up to this nice looking meal and I was like, oh my God, I just woke up and I'm gonna eat all of this shit, bro. I swear to God. Here's my chubby ass just eating super quick. <laughs> So good and tasty. All done with the yummy, yummy food, mm, guys. Yummy. This is me taking the fattest fucking shit of the century. Flush that poop down. Push and pee. Imagine just not washing your hands when you take a big, creamy, stinky old shit and it just smells so bad. Imagine all that poop on your hands, bro. It's like you put your fingers in your butt and wiggled them around. The next. <laughs> next morning so i just woke up and i'm landing in taipei and it's very early in the morning i'm pushing against the seat because we're going very fast so i just landed and look at my bad looking hair day bruh getting off the plane is one of the worst parts because you just have to wait wait and wait the sunrise is absolutely beautiful right now Okay guys, so I just landed in Taipei and I got eight hours and also I have some food in my bag. I purchased it in San Francisco. So I'm gonna eat some of that because I'm gonna be hungry, but this time I don't have to stay up. And this time I actually can buy things because last time I got here when it was night, but this time it's like early morning. I got here at like 6 a.m. and it's really nice. I'm just gonna sit here for eight hours, do nothing, eat some snacks, and I have to charge up my stuff. Nice view though, look at that. You heard the guy and my fat ass is eating some nice old guns. Bears. I'm just in this chill area passing some time. Here's my flight to Phnom Penh, Cambodia. I swear I pushed Nika's buttons. I kept lying to her and ignoring her. She was so pissed. Just arrived to my gate, guys. Here's Nika texting me when she was really mad about me not making time for her. I'm going to board now because I got my ticket. I got through, baby. It's gonna be like 100 degrees every day there. I'm hyped. We're already there. Yay. I'm kidding. We can't drive there, bruh. 
Yeah, so we literally have to get on a bus and then drive to the aircraft. Now I'm boarding the aircraft going to Cambodia. It's 99 right now and it's gonna be 100 every single damn day. I've been pretty hungry because I didn't eat for a while, so now I get some yummy food on the aircraft, boys. Except for this goddamn tomato, I do not know why I ate this shit, and this shit tasted like pure dog shit, my guy. Cold Coca-Cola right when you pour it into a cup that consists of ice is super good. It tastes so phenomenal. Got some cookies from the Cookie Monster. Flying above the ocean is so cool, but yet so boring. So I had to fill out a Cambodia informational card. These are pretty boring to fill out though. For 33 hours, I was traveling to Cambodia and I'm finally in Cambodia now. Let's go guys. Walking off the aircraft, getting my luggage and now I'm bringing it to Mika's family's car. I'm walking outside of the airport and I don't see Nika's family. Justin, Justin! This is Nika's sister and she just gave me some Cambodian candy. Oh. I did in Cambodia, I got some candy. And now I'm hiding in the car because Nika cannot see me and I'm currently at her house and I had to sit in the car for like three minutes until I surprised her. I got out of the car and I started to walk in secretly and then I saw a little bit of Nika and I forgot how small she is. And now I'm walking up to her and I'm gonna surprise her. What? <laughs> I met her again. Thank you. Well, I had fun. I'm gonna go back to America. Bye. <laughs> I photoshopped it to make it look like I'm coming April 10th, but you fell for it. You're such a liar. A liar. How long it take for you to be here? Three hours. 33 hours? That's why you told me you're tired. Aww, that's cute. Let me see. Your dad sucks. Yes, <laughs> Some candy. You gotta eat this. Yeah. Daisy. I got Nika some nice perfume. Oh. Smells pretty good. I got Nika a nice card, but it got water damage. I got a cute ring for Nika, and it has an N on it for Nika. A cute Leo and Stitch shirt. I gave Nika a really cute star projector. Then I brought blue Takis because they really wanted to try them. I got Nika some adorable Stitch slippers. Then Nika gave me a really cool water bottle, and I put it on my head because I'm sweaty. And Nika gave me a cute little plant. Then Nika's sister gave me a nice rainbow glass water bottle. Nika gave me a cute stitch pouch so I can put things in it. And it comes with a little frog. Got a waterproof iPhone case for Kamai New Year. Kamai New Year, we play with water. That's why it's needed. Woo, we're back in Cambodia. I'm so lazy. I'm tired too. Got the Fanta, the nice vibes. I gave Nika my Xbox playing music. The Xbox is right there. You got this starlight and it records up here. So I surprised Nika. She really liked the surprise. I made her mad throughout the video. I was ignoring her, lying to her that I was at my grandma's. And I said, I'm mad at you. I'm done. I'm turning off my phone on you. I'm mad. The whole time she thinks I was ignoring her, I was just flying all the way to Cambodia. Consider clicking that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.